Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is find minimum in rotated sorted array. Suppose an array of length n sorted in ascending order is rotated between 1 and n times. For example, the array nums 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 might become 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2 if it was rotated 4 times. Essentially what they mean by rotated is shifting the array so that this 0 is going to be moving up over to here and the very last element will be going to the beginning. So it's still sorted, but it's there's a pivot point in which the sortedness occurs first. Now we want to find the minimum in our rotated sorted array, and that's essentially the pivot. So what we're going to do here is take this array, for example, and we're going to have a left and right pointer and do a binary search. Now in a binary search, normally we find the middle and we try to find the range in which we're searching for a number. But here, what we're going to do is check to see this middle value and see if this is greater than the right pointer here. Now, if it's greater, that means the pivot point must be on the right side. If it's not, if, it's, um, if this is less than the right pointer here, that means the pivot point must be on the left side. And we continue this algorithm all the way up until the left and right pointer is going to be pointing to the edges here. And we want to move our left pointer all the way up, say it's like this, we want to move that left pointer up to this pivot point here. So that would become zero. So uh, let's see. This is essentially binary search. What we'll first do is initialize n. Get our left and right pointers, which would be zero and n minus one. So while left is less than right, let's first calculate our mid. That's going to be l plus r divided by two. And the first condition will say if nums mid, if this is greater than nums right, that means the pivot point must be on the right side. So we'll move our left pointer to mid, but we're gonna add one here. Because remember, we want this left pointer to shift to the, to the beginning of our sorted ascending order. Uh, that's gonna be the pivot. Otherwise, we'll just make this r equal to the mid and continue our algorithm. And finally, return nums of L or R, it doesn't matter. So let's make sure this works. And returns one like it's supposed to, so let's submit that. And there we go. So time complexity is going to be log of n, and space complexity should be constant here. Now, there are some variations to this. Um, you can put some more if else statements. Uh, if you have repetitive numbers, there's actually um, a little bit of a trick you have to do, but you know I'm not going to go into that because I believe that's one of the other questions for this problem. All right, that concludes our August Lico challenge. Thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.